Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. This Holy Mass is being offered for the repose of the souls of Mary and Jane Genevieve. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. My brothers, there is no necessity for us to obey our unspiritual self or to live unspiritual lives. If you do live in that way, you are doomed to die. But if by the Spirit you put an end to the misdeeds of the body, you will live. Everyone moved by the Spirit is the Son of God. The Spirit you receive is not the Spirit of slaves, bringing fear to your lives again. It is the spirit of sons, and it is cries out, Abba, Father. The spirit himself and our spirit bear united witness that we are children of God. And if we are children, we are heirs as well. Heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, sharing his suffering so as to share his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This God of ours is a God who saves. This, this God, God of ours, ours is a God, is a God who, who saves. saves. Let God arise, let his foes be scattered. Let those who hate him flee from him. But the just shall rejoice at, his pres at the presence of God. They shall exalt and dance for joy. This, this God, God of ours, ours is a God, God who saves. saves. Father of the orphan, defender of the widow, such is God in his holy place. God gives the lonely a home to live in. He leads the prisoners forth into freedom. This God, God of ours is, is a God, God who saves. saves. May the Lord be blessed day after day. He bears our burdens, God our Savior. This God of ours is a God who saves. The Lord, our God, holds the keys of death. This, this God, God of ours, ours is a God, God who saves. saves. Please stand to greet the gospel. Hallelujah. 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 Your word is truth, O oh Lord. Consecrate in the truth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One Sabbath day, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues, and a woman was there who for 18 years had been possessed by a spirit that left her enfeebled. She was bent double and quite unable to stand upright. 
When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are rid of your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her. And at once she straightened up and she glorified God. But the synagogue official was indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath. And he addressed the people present. There are six days, he said, when work is to be done. Come and be healed on one of those days and not on the Sabbath. But the Lord answered him, Hypocrites, he said, is there one of you who does not untie his ox or his donkey from the manger on the Sabbath and take it out for watering? And this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has held bound these eighteen years, was it not right to untie her bonds on the Sabbath day? When he said this, all his adversaries were covered with confusion, and all the people were overjoyed at all the wonders he worked. The Gospel of the Lord. If we think of the Gospel, the Gospel reading this morning, we see how, as often he did when it was the Sabbath, Jesus teaching in the synagogue. And again, as often on the Sabbath, our Lord broke the rules, at least the rules interpreted by the Pharisees, by the Sadducees and so forth, about healing, particularly work, on the day of the Sabbath. Because healing, as with the woman who was bent double, Healing is a work, a work of God. And the response of the synagogue official is indignation. He is angered. He is upset. And he criticizes our Lord. There are six days, he said, in which you can heal people. Why do it on the Sabbath? But Jesus responds, and he responds very forthrightly, hypocrites. Is there any one of you who does not untie his ox or his donkey from the manger on the Sabbath and take it out for watering? If you have animals, livestock, you cannot deny them food and drink simply because it's the Sabbath. In the same way, our Lord is saying that this woman who had suffered for so many years, was it not right that she is healed, that her bonds, her shackles, the shackles of illness, not simply physical, but no doubt spiritual as well, that they are unbound on the day of the Lord, the Sabbath. The opponents of Jesus, they are confused. The people who witness it, they were full of joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to eat. Wine to wash 
speak of the battle of both the human hands to become our spiritual drink of God God in us through sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, may this make me the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We will ring out our joy at your saving help and exult in the name of our God. The act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, and what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.